will decide whether Sweden or Portugal go to the World Cup in Brazil. Howard Webb, the man in charge, advice Sweden, well, there is plenty of time. They can afford to be a little bit patient, although... Uh, some useful weapons in there. One of them is Bruno Alves, and he's a clean catch. He's got to try and judge the bounce, get this wrong. And this could easily just sneak into the... Makes it difficult for... Isaacson is the way the ball just bounces in front of him. It's actually a terrific save. He's got to adjust his body, get his angles absolutely right, and time his dive to perfection. And... Ronaldo with an adhesive first touch. Some space has opened up. Oh. Not the most powerful shot that Ronaldo has ever struck. You know he's more than capable on left or right foot of beating goalkeepers from this range. That's again from Isaacson. He's six foot sickly. So Portugal are breaking and they're getting players in space. Nani ducked underneath it, Ronaldo coming in. Just keep coming, but this is a very, very difficult opportunity, even for a world-class footballer. It's the way he just skips up. Oh, beating the ground in frustration, it would have been some goal had it hit the target. Some pressure as well from Lustig, trying to keep this down is the, is the big job you've got on. And for a player of his ability, if you've got a time you run, you're moving at pace onto the ball. You'll be disappointed he's not hit the target. Looking towards Ibrahimovic. And now Shellstrom! Off. Get some decent quality into Ibrahimovic, who brings uh, Shellstrom into the game. He's a long, long way out. It's a beautiful strike. And at last, the test for Rui Patricio will be a routine one. This concentration from the Portuguese keeper had virtually nothing to do for the whole of this first half. And at the time, he's dived correctly. And he's... That's better, but Ronaldo able to defend it. First time of asking. Ibrahimovic! Huh? With a dropping ball like that, no matter how good a player you are, this is not an easy volley, but... You see the difference, Seb Larsson, decent ball in, it's Constantine straight forward. The first effort of any sort from Zlatan on second leg night. Portuguese defence, and it might only be a half chance, but even him, it's like Ronaldo down the other end, he'd be disappointed. The pick a pass, well, this is Fabio Quintrao, might pick a way through, Ronaldo, and Isaacson is there again. Well, that's a brilliant save in the end from Isaacson, the offside flag had already gone up. It's a really good line, actually, the Sweden to catch Ronaldo and Almeida offside. I thought the net was going to bulge here, but even if it's good. Well, Ibrahimovic bustling, trying to find a way in behind. He has done surely now. Oh, it's ruined. Everything closes down. And he gives the keeper a chance to make the save, I think. He could have just struck it first time. Great work. Good stretch here from Ibrahimovic to keep the ball alive. Just shoot first time. As soon as you... Oh, what a beautiful ball. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo with a chance maybe to seal it. And he has taken it. They're one step closer to Brazil, thanks to Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, it's a fabulous forward ball, but as soon as Ronaldo takes his first touch here, you pretty much know what is going to happen, because in world football, in front of goal, this man is absolutely devastating. And as the game started to open up, Sweden had a great chance to score the opening goal, but straight down the other end, Ronaldo, well, he just doesn't pass up chances like this, and Isaacson, Absolutely no chance of stopping it. Person there. Or beyond him, but in! Ibrahimovic has finally arrived! And there is a glimmer of hope for Sweden! Well, it's a really decent ball in, but it's shocking defending from the Portuguese. We know Ibrahimovic is a big lad and he's more than capable in the air, but he doesn't have to do an awful lot to score here. Just gets off the ground, nods it into the far corner. Maybe there's life in Sweden yet. Decent ball in. Oh, watch Ibrahimovic up against Bruno Alves. He's just too strong for him. Nikolic is in there. Ibrahimovic. Can he turn? Oh, Shellstrom goes down. But how an awful lot of debate from Shellstrom. And I don't think actually Pereira makes any contact whatsoever with Shellstrom. It's the other way. Well, he was right on the call. Shows some looking for the penalty. Is there contact there? Not for me. He bursts forward. He just pulls his leg away, if anything. I think Howard Webb has made a big call, but for me, he's made... Well, the din around the stadium and the face free kick, which he was not going to get. Bruno Alves having to make that. That looked a foul by Veloso. Right, Sweden. Flying forward. Portugal haven't really troubled throughout this tie, really. And now they're absolutely all over the penalty area. It's amazing what a goal can do to mistakes, giving away soft goals, and this is a, a major opportunity for, for Sweden to get a second.
It's Ibrahimovic, he's done it! And one more will do it for Sweden. Incredible stuff. Well, this is quite extraordinary. And actually, when the ball is right on the edge of the penalty area like this, it is so difficult to be precise, to whip it maybe into the top corner. And Ibrahimovic just decides, I'm going to put my foot through this and blast it. If he gets past the wall, now it's Ronaldo who can break again. And can he kill the Swedish dream? He has done, surely. Well, when he's around, you've always got a chance. And he's once again leading the personal battle. He may just have finally led Portugal to the World Cup finals. And they could well have broken Swedish hearts here because they've in the last 10 minutes or so, turn the game on its head, but there's one player on the pitch out there that can... It's more it's two goals they need, but it's a chance for Ronaldo again, hat-trick! He has written his name all over this tie, and there is no doubt now, he's paved their path to Rio. It was absolutely incredible, his movement, his first touch, and his finishing tonight has just been extraordinary. This... Swedish fans shaking their heads, the coach is shaking his head, he cannot believe. I don't think the Parisians will mind too much. Here's Ronaldo! Oh. Here is he, he misses, but how high he gets off the ground just to control this ball. Nothing, almost nothing beyond this man. Glance at the watch from Howard Webb, whistle in mouth, and that signals that Portugal are on their way to Brazil. Irrepressible, irreplaceable. A rampant Ronaldo has delivered a magnificent individual performance to end Sweden's hopes and send Portugal on their way. A hat-trick on the night, a goal in the first leg when it was all about determination, drive and will to win. Tonight, he showed real top-class finishing as well. Ibrahimovic did turn up to the party with two goals in quick succession and at that moment, Portugal were really rocking. But then he went up into top gear. Magnificent. Well, I think if you look at the two teams for me over the course of the two games, Portugal have certainly been the better side. They've created the more opportunities and they deservedly march on to Brazil and the World Cup. But in years to come, when we look back at this tie, talk about this tie, it will be Cristiano Ronaldo's, and rightly so, because as an individual, he turned the course of the game with some amazing movement off the ball, amazing pace and quite amazing finishing. Well, you cannot argue anything other than the best team have won and the best man has won in the individual contest. Sweden had their spell, they had them rocking, but they've come through in style and in the end with room to spare. They've won 3-2 on the night. It finishes on aggregate, Sweden 2, Portugal 4. And they say that Ibrahimovic likes to call himself God. Well, Ronaldo has just played like one simply brilliant and the good news really for any football fan is that we're going to see Ronaldo in Brazil at the World Cup and the party and the celebrations you can see there has begun for Portugal the sadness is that Ibrahimovic will not be there and you just wonder at the age of 32 if that's the end of the road as far as World Cups are concerned for Ibrahimovic but he was simply incredible at times football from another planet So Portugal are heading to the World Cup where they're set to be